Also, you see Bran and Carl Jr. Jared, they're chatting a bit. Maybe they do the pig face together. Who knows? Who knows? But no, jokes aside. So, uh, not sure what they're doing, but the pig has started. So, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it looks as though there were there were a few... Uh, okay, there, maybe there was a few bit of a technical thing that was uh, being looked at by Bran for Carl Jr. And there we go. We are through to the pick phase and it will be Solary by virtue of having the higher seed that will be in charge of doing the first pick and here there's going to be a lot more delay a lot more pondering and thought being put into selecting your opener yeah the opener is already very decisive i mean twisted and also um the maps of cosmos looked very good for carl jr and pack so this is already a safe pick and there you go it is cosmos as map number one. Map number one, Cosmos and Nine will be the turn of the Carmine Corp to actually do the second pick. And it will be Tubes will be picked as map three, followed almost immediately by a Solary pick in the form of Twisted. Yeah, so Twisted also in their edge. And what about uh, a map by the name of Dive? Will they pick it? So KC maybe could pick it now. I mean, it is uh, quite something to go for, but it is Surf and G-Force in there. Yeah, there is going to be quite the stout first six maps now. Three maps left to be picked. It will be Solary first, then the Carmine Corp Valley will be picked as map seven, map eight. This time the Carmine Corp is down to just those three maps. Ten pass backflip dive. It's really slim pickings in there when you have the last few picks to go with now. A little bit of discussion, as you can see here with Bren. Uh, telling Otak what to pick, and it will be Tempest on map 8. What will the decider be? It will be the luxury of Carl Jr. to do the pick for the Solary team. And again, a little bit of discussion as you can see there. Even though it smiles on the Solary cam, it's more like maybe, mm, I don't know. I don't really know, man, because backflip and dive, those are quite the maps to head on to as a decider. Yeah, those are also maps that we just stressed that could maybe decide it, but they have not picked it just yet. They have 30 seconds left here to pick their map and I mean so far I mean I do think that Cosmos and Twisted are very good maps for Carl Jr. and Pack, but it's this backflip as the last map so Dive will not be played. Story of Dive's uh, life cycle in it. Yeah so I think if um, KC would have like maybe or if KC is a bit better on the Dive and they were to pick it this uh, would have been a much closer series than I anticipated it to be. But uh, I guess we will have to wait and see as uh, the picks have been done. And now in the space of roughly a minute, we will get started with probably the most anticipated match of this year in the Trackmania World Tour Circuit, the 2023 Grand Final of the World Championship. Brendan Otak from the Carmine Corps versus Carl Jr. and Pack for Solary, the defending world champions looking to try and add another title to their name. Yeah, and that is something that they can also do in this kind of format. I mean... Just a dream team coming in there, but also Brennan Otak just establishing themselves and just performing well together. Two four positions also under their belts in the TMGL playoffs in Season 1 and 2. So that is something to also consider here. They are ready and let's go. We're going to start here with the first map, which will be Cosmos. So it is grand final time. Here we go. Solary versus Kamin Corp. All right, then Cosmos as our opener, the map with the two top-down sections where we saw Brent pulling some really, really incredible rounds a little bit earlier on in the game, opposing the Carmine Corp versus the ITB duo of Mime and Afi. And this will be quite the map to kick things off here on this grand final. But ladies and gentlemen, for one final time, we have to go for a little bit of a, a little bit of a delay there, maybe because there seems to be a technical issue that has been reported on by one of the players. And indeed, we have a bit of a delayed start, so don't drop the gun just yet. Yeah, we're gonna wait a little bit for that technical issue to be resolved. So, um, well, I mean, what else is there to talk about? It's just the ending of an era, kind of. Yes. It's the last uh, match in this way, but I do, or I. I do hope so that there will be Trackmania competitive action happening in terms of a circuit or something like that in the next year. I do hope so as well. And I mean, uh, this is a circuit that uh, will definitely hold a fond uh, memory and a fond place in both of our hearts here as both broadcasters and uh, basically commentators alike because 
This is where we felt we both fell in love with Trackmania yeah. uh, at the very young age, and com commentating competitive competitions and high-level competitions of this game is just an absolute dream, and we can no only be thankful for that. But in the meantime, for realsies, for one final time in the World Championship, it's time to let the field loose and go racing. We are underway for this best of nine series. Let's go into the first map, which is Cosmos. So it is Brandon Oltak. The underdogs of this grand fine betting it out against the ancient world champions against Carl Jr. and Pack. But we can already see a first mistake from Pack. So this is a beautiful start from KC. And I mean, I mean, I talk to Brand and sometimes those questions are just repetitive, but the, the tone is clear. Brand has expectations to him as well and takes every match serious and is happy with that, but maybe just has a different mental going into those ones compared to Otak. Currently, Pax sitting 1.7 seconds down after that unfortunate blunder at the start of the round through sector number one. And now we're down to a three-horse race for Liddy. Currently, it's Carl Jr. trying to hold the lead for Solary to try and prevent KC from taking the opportunity to get an early lead here in this opening map in this game. As we go through the final sector now, the water bounce into the 180 scan deflect to the right-hand side. Try to drive the tires as quickly as you can. Brent tried to go for a little bit more of an inside approach. Doesn't pass out, still holding on to third place. Otak, a little bit more speed compared to Carl Jr. Heading to the start of the identity. It's going to be side by side between the Frenchman and the Canadian right now, but it will be CJR prevailing to finish into first place with a .154 to kick things off. And top and bottom for Solary means it will be a draw at the end of this round. Yeah, so shaky start from Pac coming into this uh, grand final, but his teammate is there to just force that draw. So that was really important there for him to stay alive in there. So nothing has happened, still a draw. And uh, now Pack can redeem himself with a good run. Kaljin and Pack looked super good on this map when they played it against uh, all the other teams. And we also now see the first mistake being done by Bren. Yeah, unfortunate touch at the outside, going a little bit too wide through the 180 hairpin that has a free engine block or no engine block as it were. Currently, we see Pack, Otak, and Carl currently sitting one, two, three. Otak being sandwiched in between the two Solary players, but maybe not for long as Carl Jr. is on the prowl and trying to go on the move for second position, currently making it stick before the engine cut block there, before the entry into the blind plastic. This is very nicely done here from the. Uh, Canadian and UK duo of Carl and Pack through Sector 3 we go right now. I know Tak has it all to do with two tenths down. Yeah, so Pack and Carl Jr. are leading right now. Otak has to catch up a lot of uh, time here in order to make it happen or to at least get one point. But Solary looking very solid. That is hand in hand from Pack and Carl Jr. And look at those checkpoints as well, point two respectively. And Carl Jr. and Pack will just win this round here with an ace. Oh, but look at that line from Otak. Carl Jr. will not stay ahead. What an ending from Otak. Just, just annoying. Uh, Solary there and not giving them the ace. Yes, the pl just playing the outfield fly uh, in sort of layman's terms, just trying to get a little bit on the side, saying, hey, I'm here. If you you want to take care of me in this particular round, but here, Otak managed to place his car perfectly about 12 thousandths ahead of Otak, about 12 thousandths ahead of the nearest Solary player to get himself a point on the board for the Carmine Corp duo there. Yeah, and also here now a good start from Bren and Otak, redeeming themselves. Bren after making a small blunder there in the previous round, now finding himself in the lead. And also Otak had a great ending there, so they are able to perform under pressure. And look at that, Carl Jr. is now the only blue member in the top three as Pack is behind, but comes back with a good drift, but now overtakes his teammate. Carl Jr. here, and look at the time from Bren. He's so far ahead. What is that battle here for that? second position. Yeah, this is looking insanely close for P2, but Brent also looking to be on a really, really stout run so far, about a quarter of a second ahead of the nearest contender, that being Pack so far in second position in this round, heading into the 180 scanning flick after the water bounce. Let's see what the split says before the identity on the side of Mr. Brendan Seven. It will be a point zero seventy two. This is looking really, really spicy on the side of Brent as Otak makes the move ahead of Carl for third place, and now has his eyes on second position. It makes it stick the time a point zero forty two for Brent, and with that supreme ending for Otak. It will be the ace for the Carmine Corp to take the lead here in this map. Yeah, take the lead on a map that looked so good for Solary in the past. They were having a dominant performance, I think winning it five out of five times. So that is just insane how they have performed on this map here. As we go into the next round, it is Bren again with a very good start, but not getting the gear across. So he is uh, dropping further down the line. And now Kaljini and Pack. Battling it out with Otak. 
who is still in the mix, but didn't get the best line there. Good approach there, but still Pag and Kaljini now going to the lead, can regain that lead. This was a really, really solid start and solid retaliation on the side of the uh, Carmine Corp there, but to get that ace in the previous round, because it gives him a little bit of leeway and a little bit of uh, wiggle room to work with and potentially endure a loss, take an L in one of the rounds, while still maintaining a somewhat uh, Decent one-point lead as we make our way through Texas 3 now. Otak being deposed of the second position he used to hold. Yeah, so this is a usual round from Pack and Cole Jr. This time it seems to work out, but Otak had great identities in the last couple of rounds. And now Cole Jr. not with the best line there either. Has to drift a lot. It is Pack leading the round. Let's follow Cole Jr. They can still come a bit closer, but Bran with a good line as well. Coming a bit closer here. Pack also not safe and sound just yet. And also Bran can overtake, but no, it will not be enough. A 112.95. Great identity from Pack. He had a 0 0.2 checkpoint there before that, so he had a 9.75 identity. But still, this is what I was talking about. They managed to have the, they had the gap to afford themselves to take a loss and still retain the lead and uh, just put this one on the back burner, just uh, put it on the forget pile on the terms of the rounds that have been played so far. And now they can just focus a little bit more on this coming round right now. Through the hairpin we go and we see Carl Jr. managing to hold it off of the wall, keeping the gear as well in the process. That was a really, really close call there from the Canadian as we make our way through sector number one. The split is right there. Otan Carl Brand regroup for the top three and pack one tenth behind. Yeah, pack one tenth behind, make it point 15 even, but good line over the plastic. Makes him come a bit closer actually, but no, he did not get that line across there. Steers in a bit too late to the right there and this call however is still leading but what a great drift there from pack going almost up into second place currently we see back still continuing to fight and continuing to hang on the rear bumper trying to show himself on the bottom of the screen of Otak to try and make an impression on him as he tries to make a move happen for the benefit of second place that would give the ace to Solary to send them on to map point number one here in this best of nine series currently Otak having a little bit of a, another word about that saying no I'm not gonna let that happen to you Bako you're gonna have to work hard for it and we see Pac trying to work very hard good for approach. it trying to go full inside very good approach indeed but oh. Otak cannot be moved at all despite the late attack from Pac and thus it will be one point again for KC as they take another loss and now the gap has evened out. 7-7 seven to seven at the end of this round and both teams on their first attempt to conclude this map. Yeah, with an ace, one of those teams would take it home. So what a great first map so far. KC playing absolutely solid, just taking that momentum from that previous map to a match to their advantage and finding themselves in a good spot of winning it here on the first map. But it is too early to tell. But Altec and Brand off to a very good start. Carl Jr. and Pack are behind, and Pack has to make something happen. But this was also not the best approach here from the player from the United Kingdom, 2016 world champion. Altec and Brand could take it home. Pack had a really, really solid plastic uphill actually towards the end of Sector 1, which enabled him to catch back up to the Carmine Corp duo. A little bit of a uh, deviation of trajectory for Brand going a little bit wider compared to his teammate Otek. And now we see the gap close. Closing back up for Pack versus Brent. Brent forced to go a little bit all over the road to try and make the car stick to the road and avoid hitting the wall. And now Pack tries to take advantage of that through the start of Sector 3 there. And it's going to be a tough fight for B2. Oh, no. And that's a, such an unfortunate clip, just like we saw Struts earlier on during the day, actually. And that is going to be compromising the chances quite greatly for the Carmine Corp. It's all down to Brent now to hold the draw. Yeah, Brent has to hold here, but also Carl Jr. and Pack had really good endings. Oltak is four seconds behind. Brent has to hold. Carl Jr. chasing it down. Pack with the overtake here. Very, very good job there from Carl Jr. And it is the lead again for Solary. Not the map win quite yet, but it is 9 to 8, so they're only one draw away of winning their first pick. That correction after the exit of the final quarter might have given a few heart flutters to the Carmine Corp supporter because he was looking a little bit too close for comfort to clipping the hole on the inside, which would have been a catastrophic failure to actually send off this first map here as we get started with round number whatever. I'm not really keeping count at this point. It's really no use at this late stage of the World Championship. The point is, it's Currently, Solary, all they need to do, they just need to split this duo apart. Brennan attack, they just need to get the ace in order to get themselves ahead. And it looks as though it was a little bit of a weird approach from Pack there through Sector 1. Yeah, but also Brand getting away with that small plastic clip there. But great line from Pack going up into second position again. He overtakes Oltak, but this is a good opportunity for Casey to even win that first map because Carl Jr. is half a second behind. Look at that, but now it is Pack and Oltak batting it out for second. Pack in need of that second position. Else KC win the first map here. Oh, good line from Brand. Oltak this time not clipping. And this is it. Oltak and Brand, they have to hold. 
They have to hold. Currently, Pack still hunting down the man from Samalo to try and make a challenge for second position. But so far, it is no use. It is still currently Brendan Otak firmly in the lead by about two tenths of a second compared to the nearest Solary player. Will it remain right there until the end? Otak under threat Pack. from Pack. Pack oh almost sniping God. in for two thousandths of a second. The ace stands for the Carmine Corp who win 11 to 9 here on Cosmos. And thus, it will be. First strike for the red side. Stone cold reaction there from Casey winning this map for the first time against Solary. Solary has never lost this map, so that is a great performance. And we're going to go to their pick. It is Tubes. Tubes as the second map pick is also going to be very interesting to see. We see Cosmos and Tubes are some of the more interesting map picks, it should be said, over the course of the entire map pack. And it's even more interesting to see them pop up this early. Of course, Tubes have been earlier before as the opener of seven game series. But here in this best of nine, it's almost pretty much par for the course with those very sections that you actually see in the preview video. Yeah, so there you go, the small preview here before we see Tubes for one last time. It is, however, not the last map, not by any means. It is an endurance here as Kamin Corp still have to win four maps in order to claim the World Championship title to their name. All right, here we go then. Round one of map two underway. It is 1-0 for the Carmine Corp heading into this first round. Pack currently holding onto the lead and they go onto the staircase. And again, Otak and Brent going for the same trajectory, going for the high first jump and then trying to go for the nose dive on the second half of the staircase. And so far, it's managing, it's uh, enabling them to keep close tabs onto the solo duo and it's one tenth from first through last. Yeah, what a great round here. We have seen a lot of insane fights on this map so far and it is Brand in the lead. Oltak also with a good line there, I would say, but Pega Cal Jr. still ahead of him. But this will all come down to the identity also after this third turn. It is really important to maximize the speed outcome there. Oh, it is Oltak falling a bit behind but going for a nose slide there and almost able to hold that gear. Cal Jr. and Pack chasing down Brand, but Pack with a mistake. Pack with a mistake, unfortunately forcing himself to respawn and Carl Jr. with not the smoothest of landings, forcing himself down into third place and thus promoting Brandon Otak into the lead and into the ace for the first round with a great time on the side of with the point 785, 7 tenths clear of his teammate who himself is a further 7 tenths ahead of the nearest Solary player. Yeah, great time from Bren. The fastest time that was actually set in a match is a 103.745 by Bren. So Bren has the fastest match time on this map just at, behind him we have Pusi Dupaco who got ninth position together with his teammate in the um, uh, middle stage event but let's jump into the next one KC could also take this map home here great start for them 3-0 it is and also another good and promising start into this map a great great execution of the start once again and yeah very very solid solid response right now and solid answer to uh, what Solary was showing at the beginning of the opening map in this series, but right now it is Pack looking to try and make himself a force to be reckoned with here in the battle for the lead through Sector 2. We go with Brent still in hot pursuit. Ozak forced to dive a little bit lower, managing to keep it safe, but as a result of that, he has cost him quite a lot of time, and now he's under threat from Carl Jr., who deposes him of third place. But he's still in the mix, he's still alive, and it is Pack and Carl Jr. just attacking Brent here, who's on second position. Let's Followed the identity. Oh, this was a beautiful execution from Otak, promoting himself up into second place, even overtaking his teammate. And Pack will survive it. Otak, not with the best amount of speed, but also. Oh, it is Bren with a mistake, actually. Bren had to respawn, so Kaljinia will go up into third position, and it's a victory for Team Solary. A victory salvage then for a Team Solary that allows them to somewhat start a little bit of a fight back to be mounted here on this second map of the series as we go through to round number three. Now, following the perspective of the quintuple world champion, Carl Jr. Carl Jr has to perform together with his teammate, but they can also capitalize from a mistake. And Otak is the first player to do so. And now it is the blue team, aka Solari, leading. But look at that line from Brand. Didn't really work out this time around. He wobbled a bit too much there. And now he's on third place. Yeah, as a result of that, he got a little bit of a longer drop than he expected on that second bounce as we make our way through the first five within the wall, right? It will be Pack and Carl, first and second. And currently, Brand still holding on to the second place uh, car of Carl. Uh, car of Carl Jr., the second place Carl Jr., I should say, here through this middle 
Medical Sector, the dip in the water that is very hefty on the side of the Canadian, but we don't drive the tires enough on the side of Bren, allowing Consignor to retaliate, they retake that second place back before the identity. And they can also go into the lead here point-wise on this map, as this looks really key. No, Consignor over steering there or just over angling his car and had him to respawn. So this could have been an ace, but it's only a draw here because both Oltak, no, actually not surviving, Consignor will be ahead of Bren. So it is another victory and pack with a good performance here so far in the last two rounds, just clocking in low 104 times. And what was a very, very strong gap after a solid start from KC on round one is starting to kind of get eroded more and more as the mistakes pile on in those consequent two rounds. And now the gap is down from three to one point with KC past the halfway mark now as we make our way through the next round. It will be currently Otak assuming the lead just ahead of Carl Jr. and back. Bren currently at the tail end of the leading group through the staircase we go in this time. Oh, Bren gets yes. the perfect landing at the second bounce and we'll take the lead at the end of Sector 1 as a result. Yeah, very, very good line there from Bren. It's incredibly hard to do, but also look at this flip here from Pack chasing down Bren, who has more speed and it is Oltak also not too far behind, but Carl Jr. coming back with a low speed, not hitting the water there, Pack eating it a bit, but it doesn't matter because you don't have to drift in that corner and what a close race. Are you witnessing here, Tom? Look at that Pack at Carl Jr. promoting it to the lead. Oltek and Bren are a bit further behind. Carl going for the full stand in the P-Fast section, marking the end of Sector 2 into Sector 3, and now the Canadian right with his fellow UK teammate going through into the pipe flip, and this Ooh. time Oltek is going to be cracking, forced to respawn. Bren coming back from behind, coming into second position. Can he try to make a move on Pack? The answer is a no. Pack's way too far ahead. It will be a 0.895, one end ahead of Bren, and with three consecutive victories, Solary have nullified the gap. It is six to six. Yeah, three consecutive victories in a row here, providing them six points after the A's from KC on map or in round number one on their first map pick as we go into now round number five. So who will go into the lead? Who will jump a tremendous step closer here to map victory? Oh, it is another good line here from Carl Jr. But also Bren is now in the lead. Let's take a look. Will Bren be able to capitalize from that line again? Yes, this looks really good. Not gaining as much as in the previous round, but still he's in the lead. This execution is just absolutely mint. Dude. Chef's kiss on the part of Bren, but he's going to have to fight a very feisty back right now who managed to get back at him through the wall, right? Moving through into the second sector right now with Bren having reassumed the lead about a tenth ahead of this raging battle for second place, which has been promoted into a two-way fight for second place between the two Solary teammates. As Zotac had a little bit of a trouble through the platform section onto sector three. We go Bren still in the lead, but watch out, Pack is coming in thick and fast. Yeah, but also Bran with a lot of speed here, but Pag, as you said, holds the gear here. Gear 4 for Pag, but not the best flip here. Bran again, just slingshotting out of that corner. Also called Gini with a lot of speed. Bran has to hold here, and we're gonna go then into a 7-7 to -7 situation. Look at that time, a point seventy, the fastest time that we have seen in a match. This is brilliant, wow. brilliant stuff. Brilliant resilience from Bren, who managed to get a pretty much picture-perfect run from beginning to end, managing to capitalize on his particular execution of the start staircase to get an early lead that he managed to build up on and managed to keep there up until the finish line. And now 7-7 seven to seven. once again, both teams at the same time moving on to map points. Here we go again. Last time it worked out for KC the best, and now Solary wants to take it home, else they will fall down two maps already. Indeed, now moving through the end of Sector 1, start of Sector 2 right now, through the wall right, it will be packed along with Brennan Otak. This looks to be a very, very solid opener of a round right now for the Carmine Corp duo, but right now there is still one force still standing behind them in first and second place. That is none other than the man from the UK, Thomas Cole. Pack still holding onto the lead, heading into Sector 3, and Carl Jr. at the tail end of the field, trying to mount a challenge for third place. Yeah, what a great fight here between them. Bren and Otak are getting overtaken here by Carl Jr. One by one, it is Carl Jr with a good amount of speed, but also Bren has an out here, Pack with a mistake. This could go to KC if Otak overtakes Carl Jr. Carl Jr. has to hold the identity, or maybe even snipe Bren in the end. This is another great time, 103.76. But now KC with the advantage, it is 9 to 8. They can win their second map if Bren just replicates that time. Now, can Solary say psych 
and score an ace right after that setback and that unfortunate full bonk onto the side of the girder after the first pipe flip from back. I guess there's only one way to find out. It's to witness this round, which could be the final one here on this particular race as we still have the possibility of overtime if Solari coming with a victory there. Coming from the perspective of Pack, who goes a little bit too wide all over the road. He's forced to compensate, but this time, Bren doesn't manage to capitalize on his particular execution, and it's still all to play for. 110 first through fourth. Yeah, this is a very, very good round right now. Bren and Pack neck and neck here. Oltak falling a bit behind. So this gives Solary the opportunity to make it happen. But as I said, if Bren gets first place, this map is over and KC goes to the lead 2-0. to zero. And then we have a match where the underdogs are leading with a two-point margin. But be careful, nobody is immune. Even the best can falter at the two pipe flips at the identity. And now Bren getting overhauled by Pack. And now under threat for Carl Jr. for that second position. Through the first pipe flip we go. Coming on to this final party. It's going to be Carl Jr. falling by the wayside. Bren with a little bit more speed and a lot more speed as Pack completely flunked it in this wall right forced to fall off the pipe and with that first place it will be 2-0 for the Carmine Corp and Otak with third place getting the victory as well 11-9 to nine, yet again the scoreline yeah what a great performance from KC just not dominating but just those small difference make it happen and we go to map number three with Solry not winning a single map so far what a great performance and what does it do to Solry but, I mean, I think now a comfortable pick comes into play. We have Twisted coming up. Twisted comes up. The map of a thousand corners, which we're going to be witnessing for the final time in this 2023 year in this 2023 World Championship. Arguably our favorite to spectate here on this World Championship because of the feeling of the map. Tour de Cost, Track Mania Edition is another nickname that I tend to call it because of the very, very similar feeling to those WRC stages in the Corsican island of France and now or the southern island of Corsica in the south of France. And this is going to be quite a spectacle to behold here as these two teams go at it and Solari have the bit between their teeth. Two maps down, it's time to mount the remontada that they need to do in order to defend their title. Yeah, it is also Bren and Oltak. I just checked their PBs in the meantime, both with a solid 0.7 times, but it is Solari with an average of 104.086 on this map. That is just insane to think about. And they picked this map so often. They won it four times and have a track record of 46 to six. This. Like, what is that? They have dropped six points so far. This is quite the display of dominance on this track that they are exerting right now through sector two. The first snake run, it will be Bren, Carl, Pack having a solid inside line at the exit of that first snake run that will be moving back up to third place at the expense of Otak. But Bren looking to be pretty solid in the lead, a tenth and a half, a bit of a different setup for this triple right again. Manages to make it work, but Pack is a little bit faster compared to the Frenchman. 45.055 already. The splits are looking very quick. What was that line from Pack there? How did he survive that maximizing his speed there? Also called Junior coming closer. Bren and Pack are fighting it out. Pack in the lead right now, but Bren also with a good line, has a good amount of speed, but Pack will take it. Who will get third? It will be Old Talk. We're going to start things off with a draw and get a point sixty-three from Pack to start off things. Bren setting a new PB two times below 0.7. What is going on? Imagine, imagine, you do Old Talk, you drive a 103, a high 103.9 and you just finish in third place with the amount of pace shown by Pack. Absolutely staggering stuff shown on the part of the man from the United Kingdom heading through this next round now through the first sector we go here on round three it will be Otak taking the lead and it is split just before the world right in sector one yeah that is looking really heated up here in the top brand not with the best start after his uh, new PB in the previous rounds he now finds himself in last place but look at that fight here it is 700s between first and third Pack and Carl Jr. swarming out into the lead right now and it's, this is looking really good this could be another great time but Pack now overcooking there and making a mistake. Sector 3 coming up. What's the split going to be for Carl Jr.? As we see a mistake from Bren, so we're down to a two horse race for the lead. And actually Pack moving into the lead for third in the battle for third place, but now into the proper lead of the round. It's gonna be Carl versus Ota. Can Carl hold on for dear life? Sticking all the way to the inside of this negative camper right hander. And now to the final corner, the deceptively Pack. Paged and wow. unfortunately, Pack, unfortunately for Bren, going for a lot of airtime, but Pack, what a solid ending there for that round. 103.966 for Carl Jr. Pack in third place. So Solari take the advantage here on this round, but that was a very, very close race between Otak and Carl Jr. right up until the final snake run. Yeah, KC still fighting back here on a very dominant map from Solari. I mean, I cannot stress enough how insane this uh, 40 uh, plus points, 46 to 6 track record is. That is just... 
It's, it's crazy. Playing against the best teams of all time and they are just dropping six points. KC has already secured two points to their name and we're gonna go into round number three as Oltak finds a good start. Pack also in there. Oh, but Oltak touching the wall. They're steering in a bit too early. So does Pack at Cold Jr. who can eventually find an ace. This is gonna be the key moment there for Solary to mount their proper fight back and get the real control here on Twisted as Carl and Pack go hand in hand into the Sector 3 split and it will be a 45 5.172 separated by 36 thousandths and we see Brent slowing down dramatically as Otak overtakes in third place and now it should be a somewhat more controlled race although we see Pack slowing down dramatically through the first hairpin and second hairpin setup actually before the second snake run but he still holds a pretty comfortable gap of half a second compared to Otak and it will be yet again a 0 .9, 0 0.998 for Carl Jr. Three tenths ahead of Pack and it will be indeed the ace for Solary who take firm control on Twisted. Yeah they take control on Twisted they're a map that they have to win, else it would be KC already more than halfway through here. So Solary has to take it home and uh, let's go into the next round. Solary, comfortable gap of four points. How well can they play the format? But we see two mistakes here from Bren and Pack, both kissing the wall there. And it's now between Carl Jr. and Oltak here for that first position. We're down one aside then following those two clips at the exact same point. That very, very shallow entry into the left-hander after the chicane is so hard to get right because of that clip on the inside or because if you go too wide, you hit the side of the re of the red booster block. But in the meantime, this is a great race right now between Otak and Carl Jr. for the benefit of the lead of the race. Otak can try to secure a draw and at the very least bring a point home for KC. Solid inside line on the triple apex right-hander. What's the split going to say? It's a point two one two. Still decent margins. Decent times coming into the third and final sector. Yeah, third and final sector is being cleared by the players and also Pack taking home that third position right now, being point 15 ahead. Kaljini, not with a good line, has to give up his first position. Maybe he can come back with a good ending, but no, Oltak will stay, will still stay ahead with a 103.75. It didn't even look that fast, actually. Yeah. So that was still a very good time from Oltak, but it's only a draw here for KC due to the mistake from Brand. And now if KC wants to continue on their really, really solid run of two back-to-back -back maps, in including a Solary pick in map one. If they want to poach another Solary map pick for themselves, they're going to need to work hard for it because of that four-point lead that Solary currently has, courtesy of the ace they were able to grab a few rounds ago. Currently following along with Bren through the wall ride at the end of sector number one, and it will be Pack and Carl first and second, Bren in third, Otak and P4, hard on the brakes before the first snake run. Yeah, very hard on the brakes there, and also Pack now hitting the wall. They're not losing too much time there by the looks of it, but still demotes to P number four, and Carl Jr. is ch getting chased down by Otak and Bren. Otak going for a bit of a wider approach compared to Brand, who lost a lot of speed and Pack is chasing. He is chasing all together Brand. Team Red is being not in a secure in a secure mood right now. Carl Jr. in the lead, but this could be everyone's round. Otak goes for the move. Kong Carl Jr. for the lead through the start of the second snake run. Can the Canadian hold on still? He goes for a bit of two wheel time. Brent with a much better setup for the subsequent corner. Now the final corner can hold Carl Jr. Hold on. Pack moving up to second place. And that will be the ace to conclude the map for Solary. Already fist bumps and Pack also laughing a little bit with that snipe. He must have surprised himself there with a .817, the round winning time for CJR. And a 10 to 3 score. That is quite the way to respond to losing two back to back maps for Solary. Yeah, so finally they found themselves into the match, but also KC with a great performance, just claiming three points on a map where Call Jr. and Pack only conceded six points in four maps or four, four times when they played this map beforehand before that. Now we're going to go to the next map, which will be Edge. And All also right. Carl Jr. and Pack did really shine through on this one. Yeah, man, this is a coming core pick and we know the background history of Bren as a RPG trial player. Of course, most people will remember his ZRT 2019 win with one of those maps being entitled Trial pour Bren, if I recall correctly. And yeah, this is where we might be seeing the mastery of these types of transitions and kind of agencies of blocks there, the kind of... A, Aménagement, as we say in French, I don't really have the proper word in English, sorry about that, but here, Brent taking the lead through the first two checkpoints, moving on to the perspective of Pack, being falling by the wayside, having lost a fair bit of time, navigating this corner now through the hairpin, marking the end of Sector 1, Brent, Carl, Otak, Pack, first through fourth. Yeah, it is Pack, not with the best amount of speed there, but getting a very, very risky uh, low jump there by not losing too much time, even though he clipped there. And look at that, also here, <laughs> getting away with that. 
Pack with such a good comeback, and we have a round here coming into the backward section. Pack is chasing down Ota, Carl Jr. right now behind Bren. The former teammates are fighting it out for that first place. All right, here we go then for the third and final sector there with the transfer. Who's going to go for the lowest amount of air time? Who dares to go lower than everybody else? And look at Otak having made a supreme exit from the transfer, going right within the coattail of Carl Jr., but he's too little, too late. He can't catch up in the finish line. World Bren, record. World record. Beating the time from Grand by a matter of a few hundreds, 0.018. We're going to get our 103, I think. Starting this map off with a bang. Usually we end it with a world record, but now we're starting off the things. So what a great time there from Bren. A new world record beating the time from Gwen. So there you go. And this is Casey leading again. What a great performance. <laughs> Wow, what a good time there. I was I was not expecting that. I thought maybe I a point one or a point two. I don't think either of those were expecting that. I was more uh, more uh, relying on the high point one at yeah. the very most, but to come in and beat the time from Gwen and just dip n just a few thousandths away from that 103 mark. Unfortunately for Bren, we had a very, very heavy clip on the bridge that is going to be penalizing him greatly. Thanks to the booster, he will clear the speed check, but he will find himself 3.8 seconds down. It's all down to Otak to hold on to the lead of the race, going very deep into the red booster now as we head into sector 3. Lead for Otak by about two tenths. Carl Jr. not with the best approach in this corner by the looks of it, but he just slingshots, slingshots himself a lot out of there with a lot of speed, and it is Otak in the lead right now. Pagno with the best landing will still be able to clear that jump here barely. And uh, there you go. Colginio on second. And Otak with another good time. Also PB here. 104.12. Brennan Otak brought their A game into the final. Yeah, they're looking to actually get that title, that dual title they've been so lo much longing for over the course of the entire year. And even for Otak, this would be quite the story. Going from attending your first World Cup, going all the way to the Grand Final, then joining the Carmine Corp in December of 22, then coming away with your first ever solo title at XP EVO in September to add his first duo title to his name in the World Championship. In the meantime, through this first sector on this round, it will be Pac leading ahead of Carl at the split, Otak just ahead of him, visually speaking, and Bren in fourth place. Yeah, Pac with a very good start here. Right now, point two ahead, but touches there on the inside was really risky, really risking it there for the biscuit, but now Bren with a respawn. That is a huge advantage for Solary as Otak is left alone here in this round. But what a start from Pack. He's still in there, even though he hit the inside there on this small tunnel section. So let's focus on that battle for first position. Pack with a beautiful landing there. And look at that, going into the lead. But Otak with a lower jump. Pack would have more speed in exchange. Ah. Otak clipping. And this could be the ace for Solary. And they could regain control. And indeed, it will be the ace for Solary as they have got this finish pretty much down to the T here. And and it will be a lowly, quote-unquote, 0.5 at the very end. But ultimately, Otak trying to compensate for that regain of speed that Pack had at the start of Sector 3 to try to go for the really, really low line at the transfer. But this time, it didn't pan out for the third time in a row for the man from Samalo. And thus, a one-point deficit turned into a two-point lead for Solari, who are past the halfway mark. Keep in mind, Pack crashed in this round, and he still got first with a 0.5. What a great round there. And uh, let's jump into the next one. Solari in the lead, and we see the first mistake being done by Bren, the new online world record holder on this map. But right now, he cannot match the pace from Otak, Pack, and Carl Jr. in this round. Otak again left alone here in the start, and it seems to crumble away. This lead is slowly but surely disintegrating. Yeah, we, w might the start have been a fluke on round one? We might have to wait and see for the next couple of rounds to unfold. As currently, it is Pack holding the lead, and Otak forced to release a teensy tiny bit or slowing down at the very least through the bridge section, allowing Carl Jr. to secure that second position for the time being provisionally on the track. Moving on to the red booster, then catapult yourself forward onto the platform and then onto sector three we go Ozak with a bit of an inner line but with a bit more speed we see Carl Jr. retaking that second place. Carl Jr. can go into the lead here this jump will decide a lot Ozak has made a mistake there beforehand but now he gets it really well Carl Jr. still behind Pack now with the best amount of speed Ozak coming close to Pack falling down who's gonna win this round Ozak in the lead and also Bren will overtake here by the looks of it Ozak on first it is Carl Jr. on second and Bren on third so this is another KC victory and it is six to 
five. Every map is so fought after, and this is just a great grand final so far. That is such an unfortunate landing there for Pack at the exit of this particular transfer section. Landed really, really nicely straight, but ended up having a very, very harsh landing that seems to have sent him way out wide. Could not get the car turned in as he expected to, forcing him onto the clip on the left hand edge of the track, and thus promoting Otak into the lead, a lead that he will not absolutely relinquish, managing to keep KC in the fight, just one point down compared to Solary. Brent currently in the lead, but this time it will be Pack on the back foot. It is KC slowly but surely fighting themselves back into this map here as Bran is on a great time, but he clips there, but what a great save. Steering fully to the right there to stay on the beam and not falling down there. It's just a great display of skill. I cannot stress how hard it was for not to not fall down there from that beam. So Bran is still in there and also, most importantly, staying ahead of Pack. And it is Oldtag versus Carl Jr. right now for that first place. Here we go then for the low jump. Will Carl Jr. try to replicate the same as Oldtag? The answer is a yes and maybe a bit more speed at the exit for the Canadian. Allows him to take the lead just before the final sequence of jumps before the finish. Line can attack retaliate just before the end. The answer will likely be a no as CJR takes first place and ensures a draw, allowing Solary to move on to map point number two in the series with a point three three five. It could be a best of five here eventually if Solary takes it home as they only need an ace, but only is so hard to say because Carl Junius just had a new PB with a point thirty three, so he just seems to be more consistent, whereas it is Peck with a point twenty eight, also not having the fastest time, so Bren and Oltak are definitely outpacing their opponents on this map, whereas Solary are just a bit more consistent. Yeah, Solary just playing the consistency game, playing the waiting game right now. The pace cannot just go on as far as it can go uh, here on the side of Brennan. We saw on wow. that one, something's bound to break, but what a jump there from the leaders. Otak still within contention, and Brent, what a slide on the bridge! The madman, mais qu'est-ce que tu nous fais, Brent? C'est incroyable! Still holding on to that second place, but barely avoiding touching the wall again before the reverse booster. Brent and Otak in the lead at the start of Sector 3. Brent and Otak also on insane times here. Carl Jr. being point twenty-six behind Pack and and Carl Jr. have to make something happen, else we're going to go into a last decisive round where KC is really in an advantage. Oltak with a great line, and Brennan Oltak will take it. Brennan Oltak will go to the lead the again. Watch, and what is that time? 104.24, beating both PBs from Carl Jr. and Peck. What a performance from KC. I cannot believe that second sector from Bren daring to go for the little bit of slide, little bit of deviation on the bridge, which is barely wide enough for one car. And that manages to make it through. He makes it stick. And also, the consequence Brent sequence with the that, unfortunately, with the respawn here on this one. But that sequence afterwards with the reverse booster could have been oh so catastrophic. He was so close to the outside wall. But now it's ace or bust for Solary if they want to snatch the map away from Casey's yeah, control. They, they have to hit the ace here. The turn already hits for them. What about the river here for Pack and Carl Jr.? It's looking really good as the all in is working out for them. They are so far ahead. Half a second it is. And it is Pack and Carl Jr. who can win this map. Here it is track point for them. It is seven to nine right now. And with one out, they can make it happen. And it looks really good. Otak just has to rely on a mistake here from Carl Jr. and Orpak. Can Otak put something out of his sleeve to even the scales a little bit here towards the end of this third and final sector with a very low jump on the transfer. He already gets past back for second place. Doesn't hold for now. Can he try to retaliate towards the end? It's gonna be that connect back a little bit slower than Otak. Down to the wire, to the line. It's gonna be Otak sniping back for four thousandths of a second and on a score of 10 to 9 it will be Casey taking the win what an ending from Otak there, securing the map win and you don't know how important those four thousandths of a second there were Wow, and Otak is like, yeah, okay, you know, we won the round, that's focused, and that is the mental that they've just gone through. What an insane snipe there from Otak, from the 18-year-old who was in the World Cup final last year, but only took home fourth position. What a first half of this series. 3-1 in favor of the Carmine Corp. They have well past the halfway mark here on this best of nine series. We're heading on to Surf now, back onto a Solary pick. Pack. World record holder with a .532 to his name. Can he deliver on the promise and maybe even try to shave down that time off for good measure? Yeah, can he do that as KC only need of two more maps in order to win this 
World Championship here. Geek, let's go into this map. Map number five it is. Solary is behind against all odds. And let's see who will take it here. Pack with the world record called Junior and him, they have to perform. They do have to perform indeed. Start of sector one, in we go with the loop right now being negotiated. It will be Brandon Otak with a great start, moving into first and second place, regrouped by 5,000, heading into the footpath section, but great entry speed on the side of Colin Room, getting the nose dive, I presume, to get that footpath section entry down to a T. First sector done, and now the Canadian storms into the lead. Yeah, what a great line there from Carl Jr. reclaiming that lead to his name. And we also can see Pack, the world record holder, with a great line, also accompanying his teammate, Carl Jr., who is now uh, also on first, but extending his lead there, that's what I wanted to say. And look at that, Ortak with a great line, but Pack had it even better. Carl Jr. a bit more conservatively. Lau, let's see who will get that zoom in the end. It's looking good for all the players, and it will be a close fight between all of the three players in the top here. Brand a bit further behind. Carl Jr. with a good line. Pack a bit uh, late on the break there and falls behind now with that and cannot snipe Ortak, but it will still be a victory for Team Solary. It's still a victory for Team Solary with a .771. That was a really, really strong start on the side of KC in the very first corners. But then, I really, really love the entry of Carl Jr. into the footpath, getting the nose dive, managing to carry as much speed as he could before having his car settle down onto the bottom of that section to actually make his way through into the lead at the split. Moving through onto our second round here on Surf. Yeah, so Solary in the lead. And keep in mind, it is also their pick their third pick that they have done. And look at that, Whoa. this brand going into the hole, they're sliding out. So he will not play a role in this round unless Pack and or Carl Jr. having to respawn. And look at Otak now fighting for his dear life as he's leading and getting chased by two of the fastest players, if not even the fastest players in the world. It's all down to the young man from Samalo, the 18-year-old for the coming court to hold the line in old first place, but he's already coming under threat from Pack, who deposes him of that first place. And now Carl Jr. also coming in to try and catch up to Otak with a supreme dirt line through the right-hander, and he doesn't get the zoop. Otak gets the splash, drop voting down to third. Carl Jr. promoted up to second. Can Otak try to go for one last move at the hairpin to recoup that second place? The end series are no. With back with a point seven forty two and a point eight for CJR and Solary take the firm lead five to one. Reminds me here really of Valley how uh, Solary is playing against KC in the match beforehand, where it was also a ten to one in favor for ITB. So Solary with a comfortable lead here, having a little room to breathe. Four points of the gap. Did we actually have a four-point gap so far in this match? Uh, I think... Maybe once or twice, but then the team came back with a victory or an ace after that. So yeah. what a close match right now is happening. But Solary can pull the trigger and go through and maybe win this map here, which looks really good for them because also Oltag in this round didn't get the best start. This is very much a counter map there for the Carmine Corp where they just have to basically endure this and tank the map away before they can actually get down to business of the rest of the map order coming up after this one. Currently, Pack having a storming start to his round. Currently, about three tenths ahead of the battle for second between Brett and Carl Jr. Heading to the final part of the track. Sector three underway. Pack looking very, very slow through the dirt part, allowing Brett and Carl Jr. to catch up a little bit. Otak way too far out. And unfortunately, we don't get the zoop on the part of Brett. Can he try to retaliate? It recoups under the time loss here in this identity. I don't think it will be very likely. The outcome will be a second consecutive ace for the Solary Duo with a point seven eighty four for Pack. Two tenths clear of his teammates. Eight to one for Solary on the verge of clinching their second map. Yeah, round number four coming into play. Solary with victory, ace and ace. A very dominant performance from them on this map so far. Just holding the composure, finding the right mixture of risk and reward in this way of not overheating. So it is Oltak now, right now in the lead. So he does a great start, but where's his teammate Bren? How much speed will he get out of that water, out of that footpath section? They're actually in the lead and they can come back. They can come back, they can come back, but they have to play their cards right and they have to play them right now because now the clock is ticking fast if they want to salvage something here on Surf. Currently, Otak and Bren still holding on to first and second, but Bren now coming on the side from Pack and Carl Jr. who got supreme exit over the hill at the Plastic through Sector 2. Bren trying to assume the lead. Otak still in second position, but it's still all to play for. Less than a tenth between first and last at the start of the third sector. It's still looking increasingly close to the identity there. This is so close between them. Who will get the zoop? It will not be Bren who will get that. He will bounce a bit more. Pack in the lead. It is Pack and Carl Jr. We need first and third position to win this map. Let's follow Otak here for the ending. And it is Carl Jr. and Pack taking a quick second map to their name and a point 66 as a PB for Carl Jr. sealing the deal. And three aces in a row. What a dominant display. The second time today we've witnessed eight 
10 point gap between each other at the end of a particular map. And so Solary immediately fighting back after the loss they've incurred on edge. And now we're back to a really, really close game. Still a one map lead for the Carmine Corps, but they still have quite a lot of work to do. Up next, it is none other than G-Force. G-Force, oh my god, this has provided so much content in the match beforehand. I actually hope not to see a replica of those I do landings. not hope so either. I do not hope so either, but still it is a nice and competitive map. Let's go into that one as the race will start here very soon. Good luck and have fun to Solary. Casey knows how to perform under pressure, but we've also seen them throwing it away when you remember that unfortunate landing that has happened in the round where they already could have taken it home. And already you can see it's all focus on the players' faces. They are down to business now, and Brent getting a really, really high jump and a really long jump onto the bobsleigh part, and thus will be promoted to the lead, although a little bit of less speed at the exit of that bobsleigh run compared to Pax, so he will be still going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in second place. Otak in third, Carl Jr. in P4 at the present moment. Yeah, Carl Jr. on last position, even though he has gotten a very solid start there, but Brent and Otak are just performing out of their mind on this map. They have lost the previous one, but they're still in the lead with one map. Brand with a wobbly line, they're still is able to get it through. And look at that, Pack is getting chased down. He looked very strong on this map here as well. And also now Brand not with the best line, also Pack slowing down a bit. Oh, Pack is gonna be under very, very tremendous pressure for Brand. Managed to get away with that jump that he had done a little bit earlier beforehand. So he still wants for KC to try and get a win on their hands. But Brand with a bit of a slower entry compared to CJR. Oh, and doesn't make it all the way through and is gonna be forced likely to respawn. On. It's Otak holding the lead to try and enforce the draw. Can Pack snipe him out of the line? The answer is going to be a no. Otak holds on to the end with a point two seventy eight. And it is also Carl Jr. getting a better section there. Both made a similar mistakes. The former teammates. So we're going to start things off with a draw. Pack had a good landing there, but wasn't able to stick it in the end. So it is a draw eventually. And there you go. Nothing has happened. Round number two is underway. Round number two underway. We're still starting effectively from a blank slate, despite the score saying otherwise, with one point apiece for each team at the end of round one. But it's very much a brand new round that is currently unfolding with a great start from everybody involved. Maybe Carl Jr. a little bit on the back foot before the dip into this uh, little bank section. And actually, Pack really slow on the bobsleigh section, allowing Otak to move up into second place. Carl Jr. up to third. Carl Jr. down to third here even because Otak and Brent had a, such a great start here. We're dominating just from the bobstay, getting a perfect dirt zoo there and finding themselves 0.3 ahead, 0.25 ahead of Carl Jr., the five-time world champion who could get dethroned today. But look at that dirt soup. Carl Jr. coming closer. But also again, Brand with a more diagonal line in that downhill section after the dirt soup. Now Brand slowing down. Otak on a grass. Great time here. Point 30 checkpoint. Also Pack now in the mix. This is a three horse battle for second place. He's going to have to get it down all the way to the end. But now Brand on the thread, even for third place now, courtesy of Pack. Now let's see the split from Otak at the end of this one. It will be a 102.155. Brand forced to crash out and respawn, unfortunately, having had a little bit of a lower line. And Otak once again keeping the spirits alive for KC to get a second consecutive draw with a point zero forty two. Very, very good time, equaling his PB there by the looks of it, because it doesn't see, say PB next to his name. So good time there from Otak, forcing another draw. Pag and Carl Jr. are behind, Bren with another mistake there. Bren with another mistake, unfortunate, and it's at the very same first wall ride that caused him trouble on round number one. He might be wanting to actually try and get a bit of a different approach. And maybe that's the solution that he's trying to find out at the present moment, right on the get-go, here on this particular map, map six of this series. Remember, as we're going through this bobsleigh run here, through the dirt zoop, and it will be Bren, oh, very close to touching on the inside, but will still be coming through unscathed. Otak in the lead. Such a good start from all the players. Otak performing out of his mind on this map, winning two out of two rounds so far. And the young Frenchman is still leading the round ahead of his teammate. But Bren, what a great entry there into the bobstay. Oltak also behind, and this is a KC round. Look at that, Pack and Carl Jr. have a second behind. But again, Sector 3 have proved to be the 
bane of the existence of the Carmine Corp. And once again, it is proving to be the case for Bren. Three out of three. He does not come out unscathed of this one. And now Pac takes advantage of a really, really bad entry into that first wall ride, courtesy of Otak. And with that, Solary take the ace to take the lead 5-2 to two at the end of this round with a time of a .368, one-tenth ahead of his teammate Carl Jr. Bren had such an incredible checkpoint there, a .16 it was. <laughs> what was that? He was on such a banger of a time. Maybe that's the point one we were jokingly talking about before <laughs> actually at the big house. Maybe you remember that still. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't think that anyone has a point one at his PB. I'm really looking forward to see what the players had actually as their personal best on those maps. But it is Pag and Carl Jr. getting the A's, even though it looked so good for Casey. Now, immediate Counter-Strike needs to happen on the side of the Carmine Corp to try and keep this a more level playing field compared to what Solar we were able to pull off. But again, that third sector is really proving to be, as we said, the bane of the existence of the Carmine Corp duo. Otak wasn't affected by it until the previous round. Brennan has been affected by it. Three out of three. Will he be able to right the wrongs of the previous rounds on this round? I guess we're going to have to find out. But Otak going so close, but he did to get away with it somehow. Will be relegated down to P4 as his teammate holds the lead. Yeah, Brennan with such a great start and just that dirt soup that he ha has had in the previous round just really gave him a good shot of getting that world record. Bren super clean again. He's so far ahead. Pag and Carl Jr. are chasing him down and also all time. But look how far ahead Bren is. Bren is on a monster of a time here by the looks of it. We're going to have to see what the stopwatch says. And also, if Bren makes it through clean, Pag still in second position. Carl Jr. deposing attack at that third place. It will be likely a draw ensuing. First wall right. Let's go on the road with Bren's side. This time it's clean. What's the split saying? 101.838. That is the point six. That is there the point is a six. new world record. It will be likely a point six as you pointed out as long as the second wall ride comes through and it will be very very slow for Brad. Okay, point point seven ninety nine. 99 okay. but still <laughs> quite the improvement and yes there is still at least a tenth left in it yeah, he lost a bit of time there in the ending, but what a great time there from Bren, setting another world record here. What a great time for him, but still, it is Solary leading. It was only a draw that was still the highlight, but you know, world records win rounds, but consistency, consistency wins, wins games. matches and Indeed. games, of course. So there you go. It is Otak and Bren now getting a good start. They need to pull the trigger. Solary having accumulated six points already. They have got to do the reaction very, very soon here because Solary is getting dangerously close to evening the scales here in this best of nine series of going 3-3 here overall. Currently, it is CJR holding the lead briefly against Otak before the bombs lay around the 180 turn. Let's see who's going to be coming away the most cleanly. Bren with a Bren. great, great oh. dirt zoop through there. What a time that he's put through on that second sector. He's still within touching distance at CJR who goes a little bit wider before the start of Sector 3. Otak, Carl, Brent, a close call to the identity. Yeah, close call there indeed, but Carl Jr. with a bit more speed. Brent now getting it through. Otak, no, with the best standing, probably has to go for the respawn. So Pack promoting up into third position. Brent versus Carl Jr. Carl Jr. also super far ahead, and this will also be a very solid time, probably a point oh nine here from Carl Jr. Okay, it's a point oh two. He had even more speed in the ending, so you can see the potential that was still in there from Brent's point seventy nine from the previous round. But most importantly, Pack and Carl Jr gaining two points to their six points already so already it is a good lead it is eight to four and now the outlook on the Carmine Corp on their own map is looking a little bit grimmer as rounds go by because that was such a promising start actually with the way that the draws were being able to be held but here the slowly creeping in individual mistakes are starting to cost pretty pennies here on the Carmine Corp side map point number three for Solary as we make our way through this next round Let's go into the next round here as we see Bren with a beautiful start there. Just getting the booster in a perfect way to excel himself up into the lead as Oltak is a bit further behind. But still, they need to get that ace. And look at that dirt zoop there from Oltak promoting himself to lead it together with his teammate called Union Pack in need of two points in order to win this map. And then we have a best of three series after that. Oh my god, what a fight are we witnessing here. Now remember, again, we've tailed it time and time again, round after round here. Watch out for Sector 3, but here are 
Carl Jr. making a solid opportunity opening there for the Carmine Corp as he clips with the right rear at the top of the bubble run, leaving Pack high and dry all on his own to try and fight on for the honor of Solarine, trying to prevent an ace going for the side of KC. Currently, they have the upper hand. They got the high ground on the red side. Can they hold it on? And Brent on another great time, not the best amount of speed. Oh, he has was drifting a bit, and also Pack coming closer. Pack has to deny that ace, but this could be another insane time from Brand here. Otak also in there, and this is the ace for KC to come back on this map. There they go, the answer that they needed. You see a little bit of a bobble of the head there on the side of Brand, taking a little bit of a sip of water for good measure. We have clawed the gap back down from four to one single point, and KC themselves are on map point number four. What a match I'm witnessing here. KC can win the fourth map already, but of course they also have to win map number five to their name as well. The next map is Valley, and this is not a good outlook for them because KC has lost this map quite significant against ITB in the previous match. The potential was there, but let's focus on this round for now before we jump into the next map. Oh. Brent with a very, very good plastic bounce save there is still able to hold on and is only one second behind. Lady Luck being on the side of Mr. Brent and Seth there on this round. It will be about a second down as a result of that uh, grip stall through the first dirt zoop, through the bobsleigh 180 turn pack, looking a little bit warmly there, trying to get a better setup for the the dirt zoop after that, but hits the wall on the inside, promoting Otak into the lead. Kojir up into second position, but the gaps have opened up quite a bit. Can Brent try to come back into the mix there? This plastic bounce could be really important for Brent. He's still in there, and he can still do some damage and deny some points towards Carl Jr. and Pack, or get this team one more point. Good landing there, but I think the positions are set in stone as Oltak is also on a very solid time again. That is another point one here from Oltak. And also Brent going safe way, maybe wants to capitalize from a mistake from Carl Jr. and Pack that could have happened, or a landing bug, something like that. So it is a 9 to 8 now. And now it's all on Casey's hands to decide whether they go for one more round, whether they concluded on this one, or whether they have Solary concluding on this one, as Solary just needs that second place finish to get that map, and then overtime in case of a victory from KC. We had this moment here, the 9-8 to eight situation already twice in this match on map number one and two, and now Solary lost it twice there. So what can KC do on that? Can they pull it again through? And they have a great start now. Carl Jr. and Pack are behind. And look at that. Brand and Otak, they can make it happen. They need a victory. Brand is in the lead. He done his deeds. But also first and th third position would be awesome for them to force overtime. Pack and Carl still hounding down very, very heavily. The Carmine Cup through, even though the gap is starting to widen a little bit. Pack looking very slow at the exit. Carl Jr. in third place. The Carmine Corp have got this pretty much in their hands. Can they pull through all the way to the bitter end, all the way to the finish line? Otak Brand separated by less than a tenth, heading to the identity potentially for the final time here on GeForce. First wall ride. Otak Brand through clean. Carl Jr. way too far behind. 102.147 for Otak. Brand is still in second position. And with that, Final wall ride. Is it good enough? The answers are yes. And with that score of 11 to 9, yet again, it will be Carmine Corp leading 4 2 in the series and just one game away from becoming your world champions for 2023. Who would have thought that that KC wins four maps in this series already? Six maps have been played, and now we're going to go to Valley here. Carl Jr. and Pack have the world record of this map. At some points in this world championship uh, playoffs so let's jump into that one my god what a match it has been so far kc with an insane performance so far kc with the absolute dream run here in this grand final of the 2023 track mania world championship now valley of course we've seen versus itb this is more of a conclusive loss for the coming corp against that team but can they try to turn the tide around and maybe pull a surprising victory there we're gonna have to wait and find out as we go once again racing for the next map it is time for valley to decide whether we stop it there or whether we go for at least one more map. Yeah, we could go to map number eight after that here, Tom. But firstly, let's focus on this round here and see what Carl Jr. and Pack can do. They will look very, very good on this map. What a good is a point 79 here from Pack. And also we see the first mistake being done by Otak. I think they can use that a little bit as a breather after a very hectic, hectic 
uh, G-Force before that because they have one bullet to work with. They, uh, that win on G-Force was very important for them because it wiped the gap back down to two maps and that allows them to take this map as a little bit of a burner map, just like it happened uh, a little bit a few, uh, few maps ago on, I believe it was Surf or something like that. It might be misremembering it, but yeah, you could see that they can already take it a little bit easier to try and ease themselves into the rest of this uh, best of nine series with the tempest will be uh, where the tempest will be uh, able to, enabling them to try and get something on the ropes again but Bren looking very solid so far on this round pack in second place can he try to snipe him Wow, the speed carried through going so wide Bren trying to catch up with an inner line but it does not pan out so far it will be the victory though for Solary with Bren strategically positioning himself in second place to bring at least one point on the red side yeah at least one point and I mean we have seen mistakes happening from KC on this map this free reel from case from Otak has been uh, his uh, nightmare in this last round where he was not able to finish ahead of, I think that was Afi even, who overtook him there and accompanied his teammate in that uh, top two position. But it is Solary off to a great start. Otak a bit further behind here, 0.15 of a second. So Packet Call Jr. batting it out with Bren here. And look at that box idea, good approaches from other players. Otak super aggressive there, gets some airtime. And also lost be being accumulated there. Where is Call Jr.? Call Jr. with a small mistake. Yeah, Call Jr. having slowed down dramatically, but what a send from Otak here on the reactor glider box light there. As Bren gets caught up to really, really quickly, he by pack through the left hander in the dirt, marking the start of sector three right now through the very, very tight box slide. Otai getting caught up to by Carl Jr. for the benefit of third position right now in favor of the Canadian. Bren still holding on in a firm lead of about three tenths of a second, and pack will be doing the double bunk through the two gate posts, and that will promote Otai up into third place. This is an opportunity for Casey to immediately counteract the victory, but CJR Brick looking very, very close, carrying a lot more speed. Bren will make it through all the way to the end with that wide approach. 0.084 and with Otak in third, we're back on a defense score. 3-3 three to three, as we will be getting started with round three in a few seconds. 3-3 three to three it is. Seven points for KC to win the World Championship of 2023. And with that, we will have new world champions. But Carl Jr. and Pac have shown pace. Pac with a mistake there at the beginning of the identity. So he has to redeem himself. And also Carl Jr. with a respawn at the start. He has made that mistake. Jump too far to the left there. Hit there. Fully slowed down. And now it's for Pac. And this is a prime position for Bren and Otak to take home an insane amount of points. The door has been blown wide open there by that unfortunate respawn at the start for CJR. And thus, Otak and Bren need to seize that opportunity as quickly as they can. They need to grab this opportunity with two hands and never let go of it at any point. And look at this. Pack trying to make them lose their apprehension on that particular opportunity. Through Sector 2, we go through the long left tender in the dirt. It's still Otak, Bren leading, but Otak now falling into the coattails of Pac's car for third place. Yeah, Pac has to push it here in the ending. Bren going super wide. We'll have a lot of speed in exchange here by the looks, but he's too far up there. And Pac goes into the lead here. He has to survive this identity. Looking good! So close again here for the player from the United Kingdom. And he promotes into a lead. That is an insane identity from Pac. Denying the worst outcome, but no! Pack with a mistake! Oh, second Bren will get another Another ace, and it is six to three in favor for them. They only need four points to win the Trackmania World Championship 2023. Will this mistake, will this hit of the gate post at the second jump prove to be the undoing of Solary right there on the most important match of the World Championship of the entire year in the Trackmania circuit? We're gonna have to wait for a few more rounds at the very least to find out. Now Casey in with a firm command of this map, six to three, as we head into this next round now. Following the perspective of Bren into round number four we go. Currently holding the lead just before the jump and try to set yourself up nicely for the double right-hander before the reactor boost and then jump very, very low if you're feeling brave enough over the barrier. And now end of the first sector, Bren Otak for a second, but look at Pac, he's slotting himself in between the Carmine Corp cars. Otak and Bren woke up right this morning. He, They just had a very good day and look at that. They are ahead, but Pac squeezing in into that second position, but the Englishman has made a mistake in this identity twice already. And look at that, even one point for KC would set them up into a match point situation. But Otak promotes up into second place. They could be only one point away from winning it all here. Pack was looking really slow midway through the box slide. This is the opportunity of a lifetime for both Bren and Otak to continue building the gap on Solary. Bren and Otak first and second, a steadfast lead of half a second over the nearest Solary member. And will this, it will be back to back eight and the Carmine Corp are one point away from the fabled title of world champion.
We could crown new world champions here. Bren and Otak are one point away. It is match point. And let's go into maybe one final round here. All right, here we go, sector number one. This could be the one to end it all. It all rests in the hands of Bren and Otak. Ewan Egler and Bren Dansev looking to clinch their first ever world title. And no less with the Carmine Corp supporting them behind him. Sector one done. It will be Otak in the lead. As long as someone splits the Solary duo apart, it's over. What a round here we are witnessing. Otak in the lead right now. Their lead of one point. Carl Jr. and Pack not slowing down. It is point one of a second that Otak has to work for, but it all comes down to the identity. Will Kameen Corp do the unthinkable of almost not making it to the grand final, or will they crumble under the pressure? And let's see if they can take it. One more identity to decide it. Take it over, Geek. Coming on to the final, jumping to the identity. Otak still fighting tooth and nail for that first place, but they've got two hot headed Solary members trying to make move stick. Otak running back down the third camp trying to slide something towards the end. Final corner. Can they try to pull it through? Pack and Carl trying to salvage Brent something. Brent with more speed. Brent with more Brent speed. With more speed. Can see has it. Can see our world champions of Trackmania 2023 and are dethroning Carl Jr. and Pack. They did it. Slam your bleu à ce nouveau champion la Kami Corp immortel. Otak et Bren, New and Eclair, Bren and Seth, for champion 2023 de Trackmania. We have witnessed insane matches today and Bren and Otak, they cannot believe it. Look at their reaction. What a match, but such a dominant performance. What? We, I cannot believe it. It is insane. But let's join them on stage. What a great match that was, Geek. Oh my god. I am lost for words to what we just witnessed. We knew that we were in for a treat over the course of these past oh few God. days, but what a weekend it has been. And I think we should just go in and have a word. Look at them just continuing to fist bump in, falling in each other's arms. Ladies and gentlemen, Carmine Kor, Brendan Otak, your 2023 world champions. Nicely done, guys. What a performance. And I'm what gonna start, I want to start with Otak first. You came close in 2022, all the way to the grand final. Now, you finally access the ultimate title. How does it feel? It feels, it feels great, very great. Um, I'm super happy to do it with Brent, honestly, my brother. And yeah, I don't know what to say, honestly. <laughs> I can only tell, and uh, having seen your path all the way through Challenger League two years ago at the very first Challenger League season, I can only say, we're proud of you. Super fier de toi, franchement mérité. Et encore une fois, bravo, félicitations. Kai, maybe trying to get a bit of a word from Bren? Yeah, Bren, I mean, we had some insane matches. You were the more, like, calm down person here in this squad. Oh my god, it's, oh my god, I'm, I'm crying as well right now. Like, dude, what is going on? I think we're I'm all on edge. I think oh, we're all on edge. Dude, it's, it's amazing. So, Bren, like, after almost getting knocked out from ITB, now you're here and you played the match of your life. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling super happy for Otak mostly because uh, I really wanted to win for him. But obviously I'm super proud, super happy of how we played. I think we, we just played so good, honestly. I'm so proud. You won all the 10-9 or like 8-9 situations and well, there you go. You yeah. are the world champions of 2023. Yeah, and I think with that out of the way, there's only one thing left to do after that warm embrace. Once again, it is of course to go over onto the stand and live the trophy. Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, your 2023 Trackmania World Champions <laughs> as the microphones fall off from their performance as well as the head of the cup, Corby Corp. Three years in the making, ever since joining in July of 2020 into the Trackmania Grand League, they get the ultimate consecration. And for that, I think we couldn't have asked for a much better finale to this World Championship, Kai. Yeah, there was an insane amount of matches that we've had over the three days. I cannot believe it, coming all the way from the quarterfinals, facing elimination so often and then beating the greatest of all times and claiming the world championship title. Yeah, I think we can only say this has been an absolutely breathtaking weekend in the last three days. Thank you so much if you, for those of you who are following the show alongside whatever language you speak, be it German, vielen Dank für unseren Zuschauern. Thank you very much for watching for those of you on the English speaking crowd. And then 
on the French side. Merci beaucoup à tous d'avoir suivi ces trois journées intenses. On espère que vous avez apprécié le show tellement qu'on avait fait pour caster toutes ces games. And once again, thank you very much to our partners, AMD, Alienware, et Capora, without whose contribution and support, this entire World Championship wouldn't have been possible. And Kai, I guess there's only one thing left for us to do, and that is to wrap this thing up. Yeah, this was an insane journey for us here. We have had 13 matches over this weekend and it just was topped and topped over and over again. So guys, thank you very much for watching yeah. also from my side. And what a journey that has been also for both of us. Yeah, it's been quite a journey throughout these entire years of casting together. And I think I couldn't have asked for a much better finale to this 2023 year than casting alongside you. So I think... Yeah, there you go. I it think was awesome. it Thank was you. pretty awesome and I hope it was as awesome as it was for us, as it was for you. And with that out of the way, it's time to finally conclude this 2023 Trackmania World Championship. Thank you so much once again for following us over the course of this entire weekend. Much love, be kind, stay safe, and until next time, Godspeed, people!